What's up, people? I know you just saw me, but uh, this show is a little different. Okay. Um, this one is going to be digging back into my um, old roots, advocacy roots. Going back to the older me. Not the unwise me, but the older me that uh, didn't have gloves on and um, dealt with some things that had to do with people that were less than stellar in character. One of those people is an individual who, by his own admission, suffers from various mental issues. But instead of getting them checked, this individual has continually allowed himself to slip slowly into insanity to the point where his actions are so deplorable that it's almost not almost, it is angering. I have a lot of friends who are former military. Quite a few of them who have seen active duty. I hear it from good authority that this particular person that we're talking about today has not seen true active combat. So I'm unsure of where he got his mental problems from. I, I seem to think that he had them prior to going into service. He strikes me as that kind of person. Everything I say today is my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. I don't need a degree to make my own assertions, and it's what I think a person is. I can do that freely. It's called the First Amendment. If you don't like it, you don't have to like it. I don't have to care that you don't like it. I'm just going based on what the person said they are, and I'm agreeing with them. You have mental problems, and you probably should get it checked. Um, like, really, get it checked. But you know how they say birds of a feather, right? They flock together. There are quite a few of his followers, and he has quite the following. Um, it, it makes sense now, the kind of people that follow him. They all seem to share the exact same behavioral pattern. Crazy draws crazy, I guess, is what it might be. So the things I'm going to show you today, and a specific case that triggered this whole situation, is not only about this individual, but it did spark from his rhetoric and his clout. It did spark from that. I'm going to play for you a video of a friend of mine explaining what happened. And then we're going to dive into the storyline and then into the character of this person that kickstarted all of this. I'm going to say up front what I feel about this individual. I hope that his entire platform crumbles beneath him and he is never seen again on any social media platform. I hope for the day that everything around him implodes when it comes to his social media platform. I wish and hope for his demise in the eyes of the public when it comes to his social media platform. The last thing this country needs is another ridiculous, asinine, moronic, racist, idiot running around. And I will be referring to him as such for the rest of the program. If you have a problem with me referring to him as an idiot, dummy, moron, stupid, fool, racist, probably isn't a show for you. So with that being said, and my precursors out the way, 
we will be talking about Mr. Thomas E. McCormick of Missouri, so-called Staff Sergeant of the Army, retired January 2021. 800,000 plus followers on TikTok, not so much anywhere else. So-called intellect tool. That's very, that's, no, that's not even debatable. He's not an intellectual. Lover of comics, thinking he lives in one. Otherwise known as Thomas the villain Bishop. So, listen carefully to, uh, to this, please. Just listen. I had a three-year-old child taken from my home and my care because of TikTok and certain creators on this app. For anybody who's been keeping up with my story in the last two weeks, you know that I made a video roughly two weeks ago saying that we were fostering a child that a mother reached out for us to take care of her child. She was dealing with certain things. She got her child taken away and she trusted us to take care of her child. In the process, I made a video stating that this was very hard, very emotional, and anybody who has any experience fostering, adopting, anything like that to please reach out and give us any types of words of wisdom, any knowledge, anything that may help us. In that process, I was speaking to somebody who was trying to help, and I dropped the information that the child was tribal, that he was part of a certain tribe. After I did so, people who have been stalking my page for well over a year and a half now because of my political views and my political content saw that bit of information, that little piece of my life that they could swoop in and try to hurt me and ruin my life. The next thing you know, I'm being tagged in videos, comments, everything saying that they're going to get that child taken away from me and out of my home because I'm white, because I'm conservative, because of my Christian views of homosexuality, because I made a video saying that Andrew Tate shouldn't have been banned. The things that people were saying, whether you agree or disagree politically, to try to get a child taken out of somebody's home based off of that and TikTok videos. Well, they actually succeeded because they called so much, left so many emails to a point that I have documented evidence of caseworkers saying how much they were calling and how ridiculous it was. But the point of trying to get him taken away, as these people were doing, was mainly because he needs to be with another native family. They moved him with family, but married in family who was whiter than me. And not just that, this family has now cut all ties between the child and the mother. Legally, you get to choose as a foster parent. You can send pictures, you can call, you can do whatever you want. You just can't see them face to face. We had something healthy going on with the mother. We sent pictures every day. We supported her. We supported the child who was crying for his mother every day. We tried consoling him, showing him pictures of his mom. This family now has cut all ties, ultimately for what's probably going to be the next year, hurting him, possibly hurting him. I'm just saying that for legal reasons. But yet we tried doing something good. And in the process, we take in an extremely sick little boy who got all of us now sick, pink eye, fever. And in the process, we're dubbed racist, homophobic people who shouldn't have any children around them. To a point, people are now saying and making videos that I shouldn't have any children, that my four-year-old son should be taken from us. Me and my wife are preparing that CPS may actually show up at our door. Because the power of the internet and lies and all of this is so extreme, it's ridiculous. But the truth of the matter is, these people claim that they care for this kid. No, they, they just wanted to hurt me. Which, congratulations, you did. Because you hurt an innocent little boy in the process. Now, that is the storyline. That is the storyline. The people I'm about to show you, there are two people. Thomas and an idiot friend of his, um, a female. And uh, this particular female decided to uh, chime in um, with her two cents on my video that I made about this topic saying that she was the one who actually called to make this happen. Meanwhile, she is also a person that follows Thomas Bishop or McCormick. 
I will call him Kenny from now on, from here on out. I will refer to Thomas McCormick as Kenny. In, in case anyone don't know who Kenny is, um, I refer to South Park. Please just refer to South Park and find out who Kenny McCormick is. Thomas McCormick is now Kenny, as far as I'm concerned. No one understands what he's trying to say. No one really cares what he has to say. And people constantly watch him get killed in front of him and nobody cares. Kenny. He is now Kenny. Okay? So what Kenny did, Kenny made a video asking why is a white man taking care of an indigenous child. He wants to know why a white man is taking care of an indigenous child. Meanwhile, his logic, his logic, by the way, is because he had used the N word in a singing along to rap music. The white guy, the one you just watched. Meanwhile, Thomas, oh, sorry, Kenny is a Biden supporter. A Biden supporter who was supporting Biden. Remember the same one that said the N word. He's fine with that. Just don't repeat it in a rap song. He's okay with white people saying it. It just depends on if the white people agree with him or not. Then they have to pass. You know how that works. So what they're angry about is his rhetoric, right? He uses certain words that are just so deplorable. He's a racist. We're going to be breaking down Kenny and how he talks. He has a, he has a child, by the way. He has a child. So I wonder what it would be like if someone were to report his activity of racism and disgusting behavior of calling for the death of certain people, pushing violence, pushing violence, seeking it out loud. If somebody were to take that info to try and get his parental rights taken away, I wonder how he would feel. I wonder if we should set that in motion probably bring into play his mental problems and make it seem that he cannot take care of his child. He's not a good parent because he has mental problems. Nobody wants someone with mental instability taking care of a child. Nobody. No one's done that to him, though. But he feels fine messing with a white man because he has an indigenous child in his care as a foster parent. This is the person we are talking about. We'll be taking a look at Thomas, AKA Kenny. Now here's my other warning, because I will not be filtering anything that he has to say. I thought about editing it and bleeping, but then people will say I'm bleeping out what he actually said and what he actually meant and all that stuff, and they'll tell me that I'm making things up. So as a warning, he does not know any other word to fill in except for four-letter expletives. He's very slow, so he does not have a large vocabulary. As much of an orator he says he is, he's, he doesn't have a very large vocabulary. Whether that's because of the military or just being stupid, I don't know. But he doesn't know how to speak without having foul language in his mouth. That's a, a true sign. I mean, if that's all you can do, it's a true sign of he'd be right. Something is wrong with his brain. Um, I'm not quite sure about his masculinity either. That, that's very much in question. I, I, I don't know very man, manly men that paint their nails black either. Um, He's a sicko. He's, he definitely has some problems. Like, he needs to get it a check. He needs to get it checked badly. But he won't. So, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, hey, Kenny it is. So here's Kenny addressing. The statement is, you have no clue what type of father this man is. There are people out there who would say the same of you because of some of the videos you do. Okay, this is his response to that statement. You tell me 
if this is the ramblings of a sane human being, make your call. Again, foul, very foul individual. See, here's the funny part about that. I don't know what type of father he is. I know what he's like online. Let's stop right there. I don't know what type of father he is, but I know what he's like online. I want you to really keep that in front of you. This is not my opinion. This is Kenny's. I don't know what kind of father he is, and that's inconsequential to him, of course, because he doesn't think past his large nose, okay? It's inconsequential to him. But I know what he's like online. I know the persona he puts forward, and that's all that matters to me. Well, Kenny, we'll be applying your standards to you today. Today, we'll be putting all of your online content and making it about your parenting. Let's do that, shall we? And we'll see if that special needs child of yours had a good father. And whether or not she should be removed from your care permanently because of your online persona. Not my criteria, Kenny, yours. Your criteria, Kenny, for children. Your criteria for parenting. This is yours. You made this up. I'm simply abiding by it. Blame yourself, Kenny. If people see the videos I'm about to show them and consider you unfit to be a parent of any kind, don't get mad at me. Be mad at yourself for your online persona and it reflecting poorly on your parenting. All right, enjoy. Here we go. I can only give my opinion on the presentation that is given to me. Oh, good. Yeah, I agree. Now you say you don't know what type of father I am. Well, if you take just my online persona mm -hmm. into question, mm -hmm. I am fiercely loyal to my friends. Uh, that, that's not what we take from your online persona, by the way. <laughs> That is, that is not what we'll take from, that's what you want us to take from your online persona. Don't, don't tell us what to take from your online persona, Kenny. That, that's not for you to decide. We, we don't care what you want us to take from your online persona. We will interpret your online persona the same way you want to interpret my boy's online persona. I didn't see you going to ask him, what did you mean by that video? Well, this is what I want. What did you want us to take from your online persona there? What? No, no, no. You didn't do that. You don't get to dictate how we view you. You put it out there. No explanation. You put it out there. So we get to describe it for ourselves. And what I'm about to show people will not say you are a fiercely loyal person. <laughs> not the first thing we're going to take from it, Kenny. It, it, it ain't, it ain't going to be the first thing we take from it, Kenny. No, 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 no. Something tells me that's not going to be the first thing we take. But hey, have fun digging this grave that you're about to embark on. Here, here you go. I will fight anyone about the people that I care about. Uh, again, that's not what we'll take, but continue. I will fight racism, sexism, homophobia, and xenophobia. Buzzwords. Of course, he gets paid for that TikTok thing. He will fight it, he says. He doesn't know if anyone actually is guilty of it. Because he's not knowing exactly what they mean. He's just taking their online persona. Meanwhile, he gets to come online and say, well, that's not what I mean. What I, my persona is supposed to tell you is blah, 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 blah. Okay, continue, Kenny. That's what you would get from my online persona. Oh, we'll find out. Now, what would you get from this guy? Hmm. I like Snoop Dogg and I like to ramp along. One video. In other words, he has absolutely no problem saying the N-word. He actually went on a tirade mm -hmm. because he wanted to be able to say it. Mind you, this is also the same guy that will call black people he does not like coons. That, that's fine, though. That's completely okay. I mean, because he has a reason to. It's okay. But continue, Kenny. Does that sound like the sort of person that doesn't teach his kid how to say that stuff at home? 
<laughs> when I told you this guy is not all there, it's like the, the reasoning hamster in his brain broke every leg it had. His entire reasoning hamster still has a wheel. All his legs are broken. Every leg. <laughs> but I'm glad he said that. Does that sound like somebody who doesn't teach that to his kids? Remember that. Please remember that. Remember. Okay, good. Hmm. Hmm. He literally made fun of a person wearing a dress. Yeah, as we should. As we should. But continue. No, I'm going to try to understand. No, oh, that's not my lifestyle. I don't have to live it. Doesn't matter to me. No, exactly. no, he went out of his way to make jokes about it. So, you know. Now, remember, this is the Mr. Judgmental sitting on his high throne. He doesn't ever ask conservatives why they think they, how they think. He just calls black conservatives coons and suffering from Cunisia, whatever the heck that's supposed to mean. No, he's homophobic online. So I'm guessing offline he's not. He defends Andrew Tate, a man who was on video beating a woman. Hmm. And then Meanwhile, he defends President Biden, who is on film raping a female. So, hey. To each his own, I guess, huh? Okay, Tommy. I'm, I'm sorry, Kenny. I didn't mean to misquote your name. As we equate black rappers, sounds very sexist to me. So yes, he's not sexist patient. offline. What a lot of people don't understand about this camera and this application mm -hmm. is the person you are in real life will eventually come out in your video. I am glad you said that, Kenny. I'm so I'm so happy you said that, Kenny. Kenny, Kenny, I'm. We're getting somewhere, Kenny. We're getting somewhere. See, the thing is, we are, we are, we're, we're moving forward. We're finally getting to see the truth about things. You said the person that you are will finally come on and it'll show itself on camera. Uh, no, no, I don't need to do anything of the sort. Because remember, what you put online is who you are. He can look at my thing and figure out who I am. I don't need to have him on. It will not be a fruitful conversation because he doesn't know how to have a conversation. It would be like me inviting a rock onto my show to have a conversation. Or better yet, better yet, a, a poop colored rock that's absolutely filled on the inside with dung. That, that'd be like talking to Thomas. Up, oh, Kenny. And all I would hear, that, that's all he would say. And as you can tell by his circular logic, there will be no logic because he has no point to make. So no, I will not dumb myself down to an idiot of this standard just to have him on my platform. I'm quite content to do what I'm about to do to Kenny and let it stand on its own two feet. No, no, no. I have seen the video. Trust me. And if you want to be joining the crew, tell me what your TikTok name is. Give me a TikTok name, Michael Dobbs. I would love to include you in this since you seem to be one of his fans in the chat section. I can add you to the list. It's not that difficult for me. I can bring you right up. Well, I'm, I'm sure probably you're one of those people that are uh, a troll. So here we go. Continue, Thomas. It'll eventually show yourself online, you said. You can look at every single one of the videos that I have put on this application since November 4th of 2020. Mm -hmm. And you will get a very clear picture of what kind of father I am. Oh, yeah, yes, we, yes, I, I agree. Fully agree. Because my online persona and my offline persona are the two, they're the same thing. <laughs> I'm glad he said that. <laughs> I'm glad he said that. I'm, you know, when people say something, believe them. Believe them. He said his online and offline are the same. 
the same. Rainbow, the same. It's good to know. Very good to know. Beautiful. Okay. I said this all along. This is just me turned up a little bit. Oh, oh, so, oh it's you turned up a little bit. Okay. So we're supposed to not believe with our eyes mm -hmm. and our ears mm -hmm. what this man actually perceives to be his thing online. This isn't really him, though, right? He might be a great dad. Really? That's that mental you thing sure about again. That? Is that mental thing again? Because it seems awful funny that his online persona is a raging sexist homophobic sexist uh racist person but we're supposed to believe that's not who he is in real life who he is yeah make that shit makes that's not like a bidenese thing he's in he's how he is that sounds just like biden i think it, hey it's starting to create a little bit of a blowback isn't it he's starting to act like his daddy since please make it make sense uh, we will we will make it make sense, Tommy. Up, uh, Kenny. Up, uh, man. Uh, we'll make it. We'll make it make sense here. Hang on. Hang on. Um, the video that he was uh, referencing about the uh, making fun of uh, people in a dress um, is this right here. And enjoy this one too. You know, there's one thing I absolutely cannot stand. It's people like this. You don't understand transgender. You don't understand how a person can be transgender. I'm sure Thomas can because I have a suspicion that Thomas is. I have a sneaky suspicion that Kenny is a transgender. I, I, I can see him. I can easily see him being one of those people that cross dress in his off time. No one's home. He's got a special room that he has a dress in. Goes with the, uh, the nails that, you know, that he likes. My, probably just an emo girl that he dresses life like. I, don't, I can see the emo girl thing. I can see him being a cross dresser. That, that makes a lot of sense to me. That, that, that I can believe. And that's fine. I don't know astrophysics. Physics. I don't know astrophysics. You also don't know English. <laughs> I don't know astrophysics. Oh, this is going to be a clown show for you, buddy. Get ready. So I get that. But to do this, this, as some sort of a joke? Yeah, it's funny. Okay. Let's get it. There is a huge difference between not understanding and learning and being a dick. Oh! Oh, really? R really? Again, your own words, okay? There is a difference. Uh, let me, let me have, I'm going to have him say that again. Okay? Learning, being a dick. There is a huge difference between not understanding and learning being a dick. Okay, good. I'm, I'm going to leave you with that. There's a huge difference between not understanding and learning and being a dick. No true words has been said. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, you could have gone to the person that you said is not a good parent and tried to understand instead of being a dick. But I, I noticed a lot, a pattern with you, to, uh, Kenny, that you, you don't ever really follow your own logic there. You don't ever actually do what you say other people should do. You, you never do that. You're quite content to not do that. In fact, in fact, you are you are quite happy to never do what you say other people should do. Hmm? Okay, all right. Let's, let's learn some more about you, uh, since you know you will eventually show yourself online to be who you who you are. The, st the statement is: Congratulations, Thomas. 
Your videos work. You got enough people to call and send emails. Can't wait to see what you have to say next. You know, that's an awful lot of words for you to say. My online persona finally caught up with me. And you want to tell me congratulations. I think the native and indigenous community did far more than I ever did. Okay. I simply brought attention to you. Oh, oh, so you did play a hand in it. Hmm. So you did play a hand. So you tell me you didn't go to him to try and understand. Like you say, we should do. There's a mark difference, remember? Man, I, one would almost think that's a hypocritical move. Maybe that's what you teach your daughter, is to be a hypocrite. First parenting thing I've noticed about you. I mean, not fiercely loyal. I notice that you're a hypocrite, which probably means you teach your daughter to be a hypocrite as well. I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just doing what you do to other parents. You say, like you did, but... Oh boy, if, if, if that's what he does online, you can't tell me you won't do that in real life. Okay, then you, you are a hypocrite online, which tells me you teach your daughter to be a stinking hypocrite, like her daddy. Your words, not mine. Just, just doing what you do. They were on you before I even got involved. Mm. In fact, it was a member of said community that alerted me to this. Oh but your own words did you in. Welcome to your world. And your own words about to do the same for you, buddy. It's a good, it's a, hey, turn around is fair play. Nobody cared that you were a Christian conservative. I Therein lies the lie, first lie, remember? First lie, first lie. He called him a bigot. Remember you in your first video? Remember that, Tommy? Kenny, remember? Okay. You did care that he was. You were the one that cared that he was. Don't lie now. So now you're teaching your daughter to be a hypocritical liar. Great parenting there, Kenny. Great parenting. I can see what you mean. Continue. I never gave a fuck that you were a Christian conservative. I, 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 I but that's not how you purported yourself on the social media application, now is it? Mm. Is it? You forgot that you spent video after video going after black content creators because they told you you're more than welcome to say the N word, but you can't say it without consequences. And the he, he went after black creators, or did black creators go after him for saying it? Oh, hold, hold on, Tommy, hold on. I think you forget how this works. Someone uses a word that you don't like, they don't come after you for something you never said to them. See, what would have to happen is you would have to retaliate for the word you don't like, and then the person would have to defend themselves. So they're not going after black creators. Stupid black creators like yourself go after him because you are a soft individual. I don't know what the army taught you, but it obviously wasn't strength. Maybe it taught you how to, ha maybe you guys had fingernail painting sessions, cross-dressing classes. I don't know, but it definitely wasn't strength. Maybe how to do the knife hand, I don't know. But you, you didn't learn anything in the army. No, no, no. He didn't go after black creators. Moronic black creators like yourself, I speak, T. Nathan, those fools, they went after him because they are soft. They're what we call beta males, feminized men, gay men, the true definition of gay men. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Soft. Soft, 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 ice cream soft, soft serve ice cream men. That's you, Kenny, that's you. Okay. So you're teaching your daughter to be a hypocritical liar. Okay, let's continue. The fact that you, a white passing male. Would... What exactly is white passing? Even make that argument? Yeah. You forgot it was you who defended Andrew Tate. You did that. I'm still trying to figure out how that reflects on a man's parenting. 
How does that warrant calling to get a child removed from someone's home? You know what's in order? You know what's in order? Here. Here we go, people. This is in order. You know what I find amusing? So many white folks like to say that Martin Luther King said, judge not by a color, color of a skin, but content of character. Until you judge somebody by the content of their character, and then they're all talking about the color of their skin. Like you! <laughs> Like you, like you. When people go after you, it's because you're black. You just did it. Somebody goes after you. Oh, it's because I'm a black creator. No, because you're a moron, Kenny. You're stupid, Kenny. You're mentally deranged, Kenny. Call it PTSD all you want, but you have mental problems that you need to address, Kenny. You teach your daughter to lie and to be a hypocrite. And pretty soon we're going to see on camera that you teach her to be racist as well. Well, you just did. White people this and white people that. That's, te well, that's what you talk to your daughter? You know, daughter, white people are the reason and white people and what you're teaching your child to be a racist? Really? A racist, hypocritical liar. That's quite the trifecta so far. Kenny, you, you, what someone brings to you online, believe it. And they will eventually put their real self in front of the camera. Your words. Your, your words. I'm not making anything up. This is all you, Kenny. If, you're, if the content of your character says, I'm a white guy and I want to say the N-word and I want to do it consequence-free, so let me get on a social media application and that's all I'm going to talk about. Mind you, one, two videos. Two videos. And the consequential ones are rebuttals to people calling him exactly what he's doing, a, a racist. So what they expect you to do, this is typical pro-blacky, black, moronic, stupid people statements. They will get to say whatever they want about you. But if you retaliate, that's a problem. All right, continue. No matter how many black people say anything, I'm going to say the N-word. I wonder how many black people have told you not to call him coon. How, how many black people have said, do not call me coon, yet still you do it anyway? Again. Turn around. It's fair play, Kenny. What would you say about that person's character? A white guy gets on here and defends Andrew Tate. A white guy gets on here to defend Andrew Tate. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are more than white people that defend Andrew Tate, and while Andrew Tate's not really white. So I'm not right sure how. If he's racist, why is he defending somebody not white? He's not a very good racist. He sucks at being a racist. Uh, anyway, continue. Who's on film beating a woman. And to show you that Andrew Tate didn't do anything wrong, he compares it to gangster rappers. Yeah, yeah, it's a good comparison. Because in gangster rap, they talk about beating women all the time while calling them the B word and the H word. I'm sure that's what you like because you probably think of, you know, women in your life like that too. Is that how you think of your daughter? I'm curious. You like rap? You're okay with them calling women that? If you are, then that tells me that you're okay with your daughter being called that, right? I'm just going based on your, you know, likes and dislikes, Tommy. You're not going to have a problem if someone does that to your child, would you? I mean, if someone black decides to pull up to your home or while you're driving down the street and hollers out a line he heard in a rap song, but he's black, he can say anything he wants in the you know, rap song. Would that be okay with you? 
As long as it's not white, though, then okay, good. Snoop Dogg had make it, make America creep again. What would you think of that person's character? Person makes fun of a nuclear engineer. Nuclear engineer. You gotta slow it down so you can actually get it out. Simply because of the way this person chooses to present themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can definitely do that. Like you choose present yourself as a moron with his nails painted and call himself a man. <laughs> go, Kenny, go. What would you say about the character of that person? Uh, well, we're working on yours, no worry. So, when this person mm -hmm. has access mm -hmm. to a native child, uh huh. This person with this really shitty ass content of character, like yourself and your child, go ahead, has access to a native child or to a black child. Yes, you would be concerned I for am. that child. I'm very concerned. Well, yes, true. So, why would this person who has already shown the content of their character is racist, sexist, homophobic? Facts. Why in the fuck are they always dancing in the weeds of color? Yeah, I... Riddle me this, Batman. Riddle, riddle me this. Why are you constantly riddling in the fields of color? Why? 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 Why, Batman? Why? You know, I can take everything you said and use it in a court of law as a reason for you never to be a parent or around any children ever again. You're mentally off. You think it's cool to paint your fingernails. You got childhood tattoos all over you because you think cartoons are real life. You teach your child to be a hypocritical liar and a racist. That, that sounds like... That sounds like good parenting to you, Kenny. You sound like one of the worst parents on earth. You shouldn't be around... You shouldn't even be near. I should... What should really happen is that you should be registered and be at least 15 miles from the nearest school. Just based on your presentation, of course, not you know my own assumption. I'm just saying what you put forward to the, the world on social media. What you put forward is exactly what people call a pedophile. Don't tell your mom what happened here. Lie. Maybe somebody should step up and try and get some justice for your children because, man, if that's what you're doing in the public eye, imagine what you're doing behind closed doors, buddy. Imagine what you are doing behind closed doors. Wow. Again, again, for those of you who might get mad, I'm only using his logic to make my case. I'm depending on the brilliant wisdom of Mr. Kenny to make my case. Maybe you have some more insight. Kenny, continue. You don't like me because I'm a white guy. Martin Luther King said content of character. Your, the content of your character is racist, sexist, and homophobic. Oh, you just don't like me because I'm a white guy. Come on now. This Mobius strip shit you're doing. Notice he doesn't negate that. He does not say no. It's not because you're white. You notice he doesn't say that. I don't miss a whole lot. Notice. He does not negate that at all. He, he, he talks about the Martin Luther King thing, but he avoids talking about the fact that he hates him because he's white. Thomas is not the smartest thing. Okay, we never, he was never ever accused of being brilliant. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Just based on what you put on this social media application, just this social media application, the content of your character is sex sexist, racist, and homophobic. He, he can't stop repeating the company lines. He cannot stop repeating company lines. He can't do it. Now, Thomas 
has one more thing to offer people. He doesn't just hate white people. He hates any black person that disagrees with him. If you're black and he doesn't like you because you're a conservative, for instance. Remember he said, no one cares if you're conservative. Remember that, he, he said that, no one cares if you're conservative unless you're black and conservative. Now, if you're black and conservative, he'll out, he will outright tell you, I hate you because you're a conservative. And now that you're black, I'm going to add one extra bit of sauce to it. To teach his daughter, of course, because this is what he's, a, you know, what he gives you is what he is at home. His words, again, not my, again, I'm not doing anything outside of what, you know, he says he is. So listen up. Just to show you what I was talking about when it came to Cunesians last week about how they are only pulled out of the closet when it comes to something black. They say their little shit and then they go back in the closet. N nothing racist about that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do some detailing here. Uh, he, he is pro um, LGBTQ LMNOP alphabet community. So he paints his nails and he probably has something in the closet. He double speaks all the time. So he's a hypocrite. He doesn't know anything about people, but he'll go about lying about them. So he's a liar. He outright will call white people for just that being white. Then he'll turn around and call black people he doesn't like coons. So he teaches his daughter to be an in the closet, racist, ignorant, hypocritical liar. Amazing. Great parenting there. Kenny. Kenny, I should get a I should get a Cunesian hat. I'm not going to lie. I should probably get a Cunesian hat. He has a he has a so-called uh, Mount Rushmore of coons, I guess he's, he says. To prove what I was saying, Candace Owens has a take on the Little Mermaid. As anyone with a functioning brain can have. Did you know? That the Little Mermaid is a public thing. Did, did, did you, I don't. You, I mean, I don't expect you to know much, Kenny. I, I'm probably assuming too much already. But in case you didn't know, um, the Little Mermaid is a movie, and anyone can have an opinion about the movie, especially if the movie is a moronic movie and the thing that they're trying to do with it is stupid. Okay, so anyone can have a viewpoint about it. The same way you try to tell us if you don't like it, move on. If you don't like our viewpoint, move on, right? Okay. But since you don't, we don't either. The Little Mermaid being black is not about, our problem with it is not so much about her being black. If you are that intelligent, talking to these black creators and black directors and black producers, if you're that brilliant, write your own script for your own movie. If you are that great, if, if you are, if you want to make that much of an impact on the world, write your own from scratch script of a black character, own backstory, no pre-work done for you. In other words, no film-based welfare system. Try that. Huh? How, 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 how about you try that? But no, no, you like to piggyback too much. Oh, that was successful. I think we just put that color in black and we'll be good to go. And then when it fails, you get upset. Write your own movie. Get a different script altogether. Heck, make it a underwater rap fish for all I care. Make it a gang banging fish film. Huh? Make it the kind you like, Kenny. Make Ariel turn tricks on the corner of the reef. I mean, have her twerking. That's what you guys like, isn't it? Make her twerk. Make that mermaid twerk. 
Don't make her act white, have long, flowy hair and all that stuff underwater. Yeah, have some drive-by fish scenes, man. Drive-by spearings and stuff. It'll work great for you. It'll embody your culture of gang life, the kind you like, because you know you can't talk bad about rap. Have a couple of fish smoking blunts. I mean, it might be reeds underwater and it won't be really smoke, but you get the gist, you know what I mean? Write your own script, but you can't do that because y'all ain't smart enough. You woke, stupid, black people are not smart enough to write a script for yourself. You don't have the intelligence to do it. You, you, you couldn't do it if you tried. You could write about life. Okay, just write about life. Do a drive-by fish story. Then you probably get mad at people who talk about the woman king. Just the title alone should make you cringe. The drive, no, the, the king, woman queen, a woman king, woman king? A ki king by nature is male. But by nature, but by the whole term itself is a masculine term. It, 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 you know, you people, AJ, I agree. Blunts and 40s, a mermaid's film. I like that title. I think that'd be a great tell. But you see, then again, you're on the right, AJ, and you're creative. You can't, you can't give them your creative talents for free. You got to charge them for that. Blunts and 40 is a mermaid film. I love it. I love it. I guess the only character that could stay is Sebastian, because he was black. Um, however, though, how, however, I know most of you woke black people don't like the Caribbean flavor of black so you gotta change him you gotta change him you can't have it under the sea you can't do it like that anymore you gotta find somebody else um oh you'll figure somebody you got tons of black rappers out there that'll fill in get rid of sebastian too write your own thing but you can't do it you can't do it you want to piggyback and change everything else that's been done before and switch the color and hope for success yeah, that baby can do it, yeah. You hope for success by taking someone else's crap. You don't want to do the hard work of writing your own script, making your own plot, doing your own animations to get everything. You, you want to do that. You want to piggyback. Kind of like your whole life and naval career. Your whole army career is probably built on someone else's back. The only thing that didn't get built on was your education. You had zero from kindergarten. You probably even piggybacked on someone else for that, too. Candace Owens has a take on The Little Mermaid. We, we heard you the first time. The same Candace Owens who, late last week, early this week, was complaining about what was going on after the birth of her son yeah. in the hospital. What? What? Like, what? Okay. So, so Candace Owens can't have a take on the Little Mermaid because she had a problem with the hospital at the birth of her child. Um. Okay, I can, I can reason, I can figure this one out. It's a good puzzle, but I, I can figure. Okay. You can't talk about the mermaid, little mermaid being black because you complained about the service given to you when you were. No, 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 I'm kind of stumped on this one. This one's a headache. If y'all can help me figure that one out, that'd be great. But now mm -hmm. she's in front of a camera mm -hmm. with a microphone in front of her, right? Giving her hot take uh -huh. on the little mermaid right tell me what nostra villainous and don't worry she won't be the first or the last you will see all of them coming out of the woodwork why because the color content of the new live action little mermaid is such that they called out the Kunisians. Can anyone make sense of this fool? 
can okay if this doesn't prove to you that this man has mental problems nothing else will if if that if there was a poster for insanity or mental insta it's right there you can't talk about the little mermaid because you complain about your child and your birth process at a hospital last what <laughs> what is wrong with this guy he can't even make a proper correlation this is intellectual what bruh bruh come on man come on and you think you're stable enough to raise a child you are stable enough to raise a you I, I don't even know how you made it out of bed this morning, bro. I'm so, I don't even know how. I've seen you on film drinking yourself stupid because you can't handle life. I've seen you high on film. And all you could do in front of the camera was grin like a damn jackass. All you <laughs> drink, drink. <laughs> That's all I saw of you for like two videos straight. That's parenting? You're drinking and getting high in front of your child? That's parenting? Really? You're the male Karen, bro. You are the male Karen. You, they know who I'm talking about. Who's Karen? I'm talking about Mr. Miss recently shaved head Karen. That's you. You're the male version. Something black. Gotta go talk about it. Be right back. And then, when the controversy dies the fuck down, Where did they go? What are they going to talk about? <laughs> Look, we talk about stuff all the time. Just because it doesn't interest you, that's why you don't look for it. But because you want a black mermaid so badly because that's going to identify with all the black children in the world. They need something on the screen to identify themselves as in order to make it in the world. I'm not really that good of a parent, so they can't really de you know, depend on me to make it. So I need a mermaid that's black to help them understand their self-worth. If they don't have a black mermaid, what will my daughter do? Oh, 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 my Lord, I don't know what she'll do. She'll never know she can be a mermaid, too. <sighs> If I don't have Wakanda, what will I do? <laughs> I need the Black Panther in my life, Wakanda forever. Uh, last time I checked, it's my job as a parent to instill in my child that they don't need someone outside to tell them that their self-worth is something they should have. <laughs> I should be instilling that without a TV or a camera. <laughs> I need a Black Panther. I need to have Santa Claus Black. Wakanda forever. I need to make sure they know that a woman can be king and black. You know, you know, everything about this guy screams an absolute mental case breaking down in front of us this is the sad part of it he is having continuous mental breakdowns in front of the camera and the only thing that people can see is oh brilliant 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 and he keeps getting on camera and having emotional breakdowns day after day after day after day And people are applauding it and continually thanking him for having a breakdown. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find something here. So here we go. This is the last video I'm going to play of him. And it will have both the people 
that matter in this whole live on the same screen. So here's Kenny responding again. Now the guy on the screen, the white guy, white passing guy who had the indigenous child and shouldn't have the indigenous child because he's racist, sexist, homophobic, you know, the trifecta. Um, the statement in the back says, you said it in the first part of the video, you're assuming. I'm not sure if you know, but it's possible to be aware and care about multiple things. And you can. You can be aware and care about multiple things at once. Not Thomas, I mean, not Kenny, because he doesn't have a, the brain function to do that, but because he can only focus on one thing, which is why he can only regurgitate three words, racist, misogynist, homophobic, and yeah, xenophobic. Yeah. So here, here he is. Why does this man have a native child in his custody? Yeah, why does this man have a native child in his custody? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because, maybe because he can. Maybe because by law, he, he can. Maybe, just maybe, because there's such a thing as adoption and fostering. So he, he, he can, legally, he can, he can have it. The same way legally you can keep your platform. The same way legally you kept your child. When in all honesty, you should never have had one to begin with, much less raised one with your mental problems. You should have never had that child to begin with. To raise her in the kind of environment that we see you have online. To raise her to hate white people that disagree with her. To raise her to hate black people that disagree with her. To raise her to lie. Hmm? And to raise her to be a hypocrite. Why does this man have a native child in his custody? Tell us why. I like Snoop Dogg and I rap along. Why does this man have a, a native child in his custody? Um, have any of you ever called a native child the N-word? I'm, I'm curious. Um, is, is, uh, is that... That usually is used towards black, right? I just just trying to make sure I get this differentiation right. So if he's listening to Snoop Dogg, um, and he's he has an indigenous child in his care, how is that affecting you when, when it comes to the N word, Tommy? I'm not not quite sure, but hey, maybe you have a reason. Let's let yeah, let's hear. Let me get this straight. Andrew Tate was banned because of his influence he has on young men. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, because, you know, we do the same. We've gone after these gangster rappers. You know, people who are attributed to, like, you know, crime and violence and, and, and death. But, yeah, that, that's totally cool. Like, Snoop Dogg wearing a hat that says, make America crip again. That's, like, hip, dude. But Currently, this man has custody of a child of Native and Indigenous heritage. Notice he doesn't tackle the content of what he talked about. Which is a very fair correlation. If you're going to ban Andrew Tate for his message, maybe, just maybe, be really about the fact that you hate that message. He made a video later on to say, I don't care about the messenger. It's about the message. This is, this is Kenny. But if you really hate the message that badly, that it's influencing poorly, and it's showing a culture of abuse towards women, and I tell you, where is that energy towards rap music, and you just go, oh, oh, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate. It tells me you don't care about the actual influence. You just don't like the person saying it. 
Continue, though. Batman. Batman. His excuse is, well, if I don't do it, the child will be in the system. Batman has... Again, not answering his own question of would the child be in the system if he didn't do it? Custody of a native child. White, whoa, 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 Did he just do a white power symbol? Kenny, Kenny, did you just do a white power symbol? Are you a, you're a bona fide racist, man. Again, I'm just going by what you put on camera, man. I'm going by what you put on camera. Let's find out. Batman has custody of a native. Yep, I was right. That is the racist KKK white power symbol. We should we should have him deplatformed right away, people. We need to put a petition in to have this fool deplatform for that symbol. That is that is racist. That is disgusting. Eventually people will show you who they are on screen they will show you i'm gonna back it up just a little bit to make it clear boom there it is i'm gonna zoom in there it is wow what a disgusting human being to be making a white power sit what is wrong with this world when these kinds of people can keep their platform making racist terms like this popular? But really? Wow. Wow. And by his statements, we should judge him by what he puts on camera, which probably means he teaches his daughter to be a racist, disgusting, white power, white supremacist. He probably teaches his daughter that. Kenny is a disgusting parent. We need to get his child removed from him as soon as possible. Again, Moni using his criteria. Only using his criteria. What a disgusting man. What a, what a, wow. Anyway, continue, white supremacist. A native child. He's in Oklahoma. That man has custody of a native child. He's in Oklahoma. Make sure he tells you what state he's in. Meet Biden's latest appointee, Deputy Assistant Secretary Sam Brinton. Sam will represent the average American and bring all of our concerns to the IAEA, better known as the guys that dispose of nuclear waste around the world. Sam is to speak at the first <laughs> gathering of this group. And... I can't look at Sam. I can't look at Sam, man. But come on, man. We made a show. We, ta we talked about Sam before on Too Strong. We talked about Sam. Sam, mm. Sam will walk around with a leash, okay? I, I, again, mentally unstable people will find mentally unstable people to identify with. And Thomas found himself a mentally unstable person to back, and it's Sam. L listen carefully to how he talks about Sam. November, again, he will be representing the average American and our concerns for nuclear waste. Yeah, disposal. I can see that. I'm almost willing to bet this man did not show his online persona to whoever it was that gave him custody of a native child. So it's Again, again, Kenny, Kenny. Um, you just showed the white power symbol. Do, do you tell people that you flash it? Do you tell people that you flash the white power symbol? Because you do it quite often in your videos. I don't know if you realize this, but almost every time you're trying to make a point, you do that every time. Are you a white supremacist? I'm going to assume that you are because you keep doing it. I can almost bet. I, I, yeah, yeah. Almost bad. He came off as loving and Christian. 
and he's a loving family and a loving home for him. I, I don't think he understands what a Christian is. I, I well, he doesn't because he doesn't believe in God. But that's aside. That's a secondary. Uh, he's 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 an atheist. But aside from that, um, God doesn't ask us to uh, accept that kind of behavior. Just an FYI. I don't know if you're sure about or you're unaware of what it means, but. Um, we don't approve of that type of B the nail polish BS. We don't do that either. Okay, that's not that's not normal. Dressing like a female, makeup that's that's mental insanity. That that's when your brain isn't functioning properly, and that's when your body is completely consumed with sin. Okay, we, we don't have to accept that, nor are we called to accept it at at, at all. Uh, Kenny. Just so you know. Didn't show him none of this, though. None of it. Not a bit. The man who, and everybody remembers this, decided that he wanted to say the N-word, and he didn't care who heard about it. This is not my guess, Bet by the way. Bet you ain't showing him that, though. I'm making fun right? of this guy. As far as I'm concerned, men have not shown us that they can lead. As far as I'm concerned, women don't allow us to. If I say I'm the leader of my household, women say I'm misogynist. Uh, yes, yes, they do. Uh, facts. And this is where you're going to see where Thomas does not wear the pants in his home, if he has a female. I don't even know that's what you would call his counterpartner. I don't know what they call each other in the home. But guessing from what he's shown, he doesn't even know what he calls himself. So, uh, yeah. And that woman that he's showing, we don't need men. And she says she's going to take the resignation in right now. And men don't lead. But when we do try to lead, of course, you get the independent woman, black or white, that say, you're a misogynist for leading. As you can tell, Thomas is probably going to come in with his defense of this woman because he's a beta male and he doesn't have his balls anymore. Maybe it was the military that took it. Maybe it was his wife. I don't know. But he doesn't possess them anymore. Hence why he paints his nails. They say that I'm part of the patriarchy, that I need to fight the patriarchy. Not to mention, if a man's going to lead, it has to be a household that he wants to lead. And today, what are women doing in terms of themselves? Why does this man have a native child in his home? What, what in the world does that have to do with a native child? What, what in the world does that have to do with a native child? A man should be the head of his home. If you are not the head of your home, Thomas, just say so. If you are the bottom B, then say so, Tommy. If you don't rule your home, just say so. If you get abused all the time by your wife, just say so, bro. It's okay. We can tell already that you are not a man. We get that. That was, that was obvious, that you're not male. We get that. We get that you're not strong. We get that. We, we, are, we are fully capable of understanding that you have no concept of what it means to be a man. We get that right off the top. Whatever nuts you had, you lost a long time ago. Whatever manhood you had, you sacrificed a long time ago. We get that. But a normal man, a real man, is the head of his home. You are barely, ba the only thing that you're the head of right now, the only thing that you're the head of right now, is the Mental Insanity Club. And at this point, your stomach is running a competition to see which one is bigger, your head or your midline. Before too long, you'll have two stilts under you because you skip leg day every day. Your mid-range is going to be the size of a mountain. And your head is going to keep inflating because of the amount of decay that's happening in your brain. But if you're not the man of your house... I mean, you like Lil Nas, right? Or is that just regular Nas? Hey, heck, you like rap. That's all I know. You love rap, which means you love to beat women. You love to sell dope. You like drive-bys. Again, you say what you do is who you are. Your words, not mine. Here you go. Finish up. At all. At all. Thomas, the villain, Bishop, real name, Thomas E. McCormick, Missouri. Mental patient, mental midget, 
racist, hypocrite, liar, closet homosexual. Maybe not even closet. At least cross-dresser. And he has children, or at least a child that he mentioned at least, that he raised to be exactly like him. Because we all know, we all know that from what he said, you know what, I should, I should close with, with his words, shouldn't I? I think we should close with his words. Because I think it's vital that we understand who Kenny is. Because what Kenny said matters. Kenny life matters. Let's zoom in on Kenny so we can see exactly what he says. The entire show has been to tell you people that what he is espousing is that you can tell what a person is like at home by the online presence they have. Including himself, he said. I showed you a myriad of things that he's put online about himself. He wants you to think of him in a certain light. And he wants to paint himself as a certain type of person. And he'll put out a video and tell you how you should think about that video. When in actuality, that's not what the video is. Not my words. See, here's the funny part about that. I don't know what type of father he is. I know what he's like online. Mm -hmm. I can only give my opinion on the presentation that is given to me. Now, you say you don't know what type of father I am. Well, mm -hmm. if you take just my online persona into yeah. question, yep. I am fiercely loyal to my friends. No. No. No, you're an ignorant idiot. Whatever brain cells you had, you left them in kindergarten. Heaven alone knows how you made it in the army at all much less the staff sergeant. I, I don't even know how you made it that far, bro. You got to tie shoelaces in the army. How did you manage that? H how? I will fight anyone about the people that I care about. Yeah. I will fight racism, sexism, homophobia, and xenophobia. There's the buzzwords. That's what you would get from my. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that the white? Was that the white? Did we just see the white power symbol again? Did did we did we just see the white power symbol again? Hold on, hold on. Let's find out. Online persona into question. I am fiercely loyal to my friends. I will fight anyone about the people that I care about. I will fight racism, sexism, homophobia. Oh, good. It wasn't. Oh, I, 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 he did. He did. He did. He flashed it again. He flashed it again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There it is again. Oh, man. Tommy. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. What a stinking, disgusting racist you are, bro. That's twice now in two videos. It must mean that you teach your child how to flash the white power symbol. That has to be what it means, because you know what you said? You put out what you are offline. You teach your child, your female child, to flash this white power symbol wherever she goes. You are a disgusting, stinking racist, and you should never have children in your custody. Or even around you. Wow. Just going by what you show. I'm just saying, you know, based on what you how you say it. I'm just, you know. Xenophobia. That's what you would get from my online persona. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Now, what would you get from this guy? Mm -hmm. I like Snoop Dogg and I like to rap along. Mm -hmm. In other words, he has absolutely no problem saying the N-word. He actually went on a tirade because he wanted to be able to say it. 
Does that sound like the sort of person that doesn't teach his kid how to say that stuff at home? Hmm. 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 He literally made fun of a person wearing a dress. Yeah. Many people did. Blacks included. No, I'm going to try to understand. No. Oh, that's not my lifestyle. I don't have to live it. Doesn't work. Oh, again, again, the hypocrite shows up. Remember, just remember, this is a recap. Matter of me. No, he went out of his way to make jokes about it. So, you know, he's homophobic yeah, you, online. Yeah, you know it. Okay. So I'm guessing offline. He's not. He defends. Oh, oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Twice in one video? You it's so innate to, it's so ingrained in you that you can't help but flash that white power symbol. Kenny, twice in one video? Twice? One video? Wow. Wow. This is painful, guys. This is this is painful. I'm I'm hurt, man. I'm hurt. I know it's the third time, but twice in one video. Oh, oh. Defends Andrew Tate, a man who was on video twice. beating a woman. Twice in one. And then video. tries to equate black rappers. Sounds very sexist to me. How 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 is it sexist if he's defending a male? Anyway, continue. So he's not sexist offline. No, no. no. I mean, what a lot of people don't understand about this camera and this application is the person you are in real life will eventually come out in your videos. <laughs> uh, Barbara, yeah, I have to assume that's what he means because he says he's an intellectual. His words again, he is an intellectual. He's an intellectual. Intellectuals know what they're doing. You can look at every single one of the videos that I have put on this application since November 4th of 2020. And you will get a very clear picture of what kind of father I am. Mm. We did. Because my online persona and my offline persona, are two, they're the same thing. Mm -hmm. I said this all along. This is just me. Turned up a little bit. Mm -mm. Okay, good. I'm glad. We... So we're supposed to not believe mm -hmm. with our eyes. Our eyes. And our ears. And ears. What this man actually perceives to be his thing online, this isn't really him though, right? Yeah. He might be a great dad. Yeah. Really? You sure about that? Who is anymore? Because it seems awful funny. Oh, up, 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 up. Again. Again? Did he just do it again? Three times in one bit three times in one video? No way he did it three times. Because it seems awful. He did. He did three times one video. <sighs> three times in one video. In the space of two and a half minutes, this man splashed the white power symbol three times. Wow. Awful funny that. His online persona is a raging, sexist, homophobic, sexist, uh, racist person. But we're supposed to believe that's not who he is in real life. Make that shit make sense. Please make it make sense. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Three different times, one video, white power. Thomas the villain, everyone. Thomas the villain. And he says, you have to take the person's online persona and make your assumptions of what they are offline. We did. We took a look at what he is on his persona, and I can only tell you what I found was a sexist bigot. Nah, I'm kidding you. That's his words. That's his words. What I found is that he's a lying, hypocritical racist.
and probably a closeted cross-dresser. And he teaches his child to be the exact same way. I think we should start a petition to have all parental rights stripped of him because of the bad influence he has on his child. See how dumb that sounds? Do you see how stupid that logic is to the people that follow Thomas the Villain Bishop? Do you see how circular and stupid you sound when you make that assumption about somebody you don't know? Do you see how dumb you are? When you make life calls about somebody you don't know because your feelings are that fragile. Because you were never taught how to be a man, Thomas, and your followers are never teach how to be a, taught how to be an adult. Never. They have no clue what it means to be an adult. They function off of feeling and emotion like babies. And you make stupid, stupid, asinine decisions that influence other people's lives because you are butthurt about something. And if the tables were ever turned, people hate you. It's because I'm black. I did miss one person. The other gal that called in, she said she's not white, she's Puerto Rican. I don't know what the heck you have to be. I, I don't even know how that makes even any sense. Um, you're, you're Puerto Rican, that makes you not white? It, are, are there no white Puerto Ricans? Oh, po, po. Puerto Rican is not a race, at, like at all. Again, these are the people that follow him. Um, she had said to me that um, I am a self-hating black man. You can't be serious. Get that child out of that man's home and put that child back with family where he belongs because that white man was crying on TikTok. Mind you, the child got placed from one white family to another white family. So just get... Or is it because you have a personal vendetta against Thomas? Yeah, okay. Like You can't really be serious and think it's okay for a white person to sit there and take their culture and heritage of another human being just because they appear to be whiter than them. Sweetheart, you, you could stick up for him all day. Here we go. You will never be white. You will never be one of them. And it's a sad, sad day when you decide to go suck the tea. The tea. Instead of listening to what really happened. He literally strewed together a whole bunch of words. None of it being true. That's usually how a sentence works. You, you put together a bunch of words. And I don't, I don't think I ever wish to be white. Um, if, if, if by white you mean logical and have an, a functioning brain, then okay, I'm white. Which tells me that you're a racist because you think black people can't functionally act smart or think for themselves. That makes sense though, because you're a Puerto Rican. That makes you not white. See how slow she talks? They all have the same brain function, that of a potato. This mental midget, this moronic meat sack, this, that face right there is the true face of mental decline. If you ever want to see how retardations begins, look for a face like this. Get that person some help. Maybe you can find a way to reverse it. Don't let your friends get to this level of stupidity. This is bad. If you call yourself a friend, get this person some help. She is obviously in need of some education of any kind. If that means starting her with 
round hole, round block. Start her today. We will put a couple of dollars to help because that's all it's going to take to get her some round blocks and make a round hole. I mean, of course, you'll have to teach her what a hole is. Start by telling her it's that vacuous space in her head. That's a hole. These are the people. These are the people that follow people like Thomas the Bishop. Mental midgets. Trying to do backflips onto broken glass. Anyway, the whole purpose of this was one, to defend my friend, to stand back and say, look, this is nonsense what they did. And then to show you what kind of people are out there that we're going up against. They're not the sharpest, but they sure are persistent. They're like gnats. They're like gnats. They don't really serve a purpose. They're just there. And they don't quit till they get what they want. Even if it means them dying in the process, they get what they want. We have to be fly swatters and we have to be bug spray to these people. We have to put them to put them where they belong. It's a sad state, but hey, it's the way it is. And live by these wise words once spoken by Kenny. What you are offline will eventually show itself in front of the camera. As did Kenny's life today. If you enjoyed the show, please share it with your friends. Show them how to properly roast an individual. Of course, come with receipts. You always want the receipts. If you're going to do anything like that, come with receipts. But like I always tell everyone, every day I leave my show, wisdom is calling to you from the streets. So please, 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 unlike Kenny, and his doofus Puerto Rican white friend, find wisdom. Please, for the love of all that, please find wisdom. Peace.